Oregon must win the 4x400 four relay because you get eight points per second. That would put them 0.2 points short of Georgia. Georgia, a team with all field eventers and a multi-eventer on the precipice of winning the NCAA women's title. Oregon must win the final event, the 4x400 four relay, and they've got a very strong team entered, but we do not know yet who is running on that team. The Longhorns of Texas set that collegiate record 13 years ago. They have the meet record as well from three years ago, and the Ducks have the best time in the country this year. But they are going up against a USC Trojan team that is very solid and would love to end this event on a high note. There is Oregon. Dwight, you want to bet that Robert Johnson probably had a very inspired conversation with his 4x4 leading up to this event? And we're just trying to get some clarification on the second leg. It says Deja Stevens, but we're told she is out. Here are the USC Trojans. It will be Cameron Pettigrew to Amalie Yule, Deanna Hill, and Kendall Ellis. Every one of them has scored points in this meet up to this point. So the Ducks are going to depend on their 800-meter NCAA champion for the third time, Raven Rogers. There is Robert Johnson at home on a track that he's on every day, trying to, trying to force a smile onto his face. This is going to be exciting for every single person that's in this building, obviously. A partisan crowd, though they are very supportive of all the athletes who compete. They really understand this sport and follow it closely and appreciate great performances from no matter who it is. But boy, would they love to see their Ducks win. And if they do so, they turn the academic year triple crown. They won the cross country in the fall. They won indoor track. Now they're trying to be the first to win all three, including the outdoor track here in 2017. Oregon will be in lane six. University of Southern California will be in lane four. And now we're told Deja Stevens is running for the Ducks. She took a fall in that 200 when her legs just seemed to collapse. But she apparently was not hurt enough to keep her off this 4x400 team. And let me tell you, there are not many seats available here at Hayward Field. So Oregon going to the freshman Mackenzie Dunmore for the leadoff leg in this 4x4. Tough task for her. And this could come down to... I mean, really, the reason Oregon must win now is because Deja Stevens did not, when she got up in that 200 and was not hurt, she did not walk across the finish line for the one point. She walked off the track, was a DNF, she got zero. That's making it so they must win this race. Had she run, walked across the line, they could finish second here and still win the team title by three, by, by point eight points. Yeah. Well, there are other teams in this race, by the way, from the inside, Ohio State, Miami, Florida, and then USC in four, Texas in five, Oregon in six, LSU and Texas A&M. A very strong four by 400 field, but this is what we love. It came down to the four by four yesterday in the, for the men's title, won by Florida. It's coming down to the four by 400 for Oregon with Georgia not having a team here. They just have to hope against hope that Oregon is unable to win this race. They stay in lanes for the entire first leg and then the first full turn when they make the exchange. And Oregon and Mackenzie Dunmore, the freshman, running very strong, as is Cameron Pettigrew for the Trojans. And see who hands off first. It is the Trojans, just barely. You gotta be so careful with these baton passes because a bobble here means a national title. For USC, it is Amelie Yule who will break first for USC. For Oregon, it is Deja Stevens back from that disappointment in the 200 meters. Amelie Yule from Norway, competed in the Olympics for her home country in the 400 hurdles, but has been a workhorse in her four years at the University of Southern California. Now Dejan Stevens with that home stretch crowd helping her along, pushing her along. LSU now in third. Very close in the handoff, but USC gets the advantage on the inside. For USC it is Deanna Hill, for Oregon it is Alexis Guster, the senior. 
and for LSU, who's now in the mix, Kimber Payne. No one willing to make the move. Now Texas into fourth. It's all or nothing for the Oregon Ducks. Win or not be national champions, not win the Triple Crown. And now Alexis Guster taking the lead from Deanna Hill and dropping in in front of her. Now Hill has to come wide. Oregon is going to pass off first. Watch this baton pass, very clean for both. So here it is, it's a foot race, of course, it's a track meet. USC now passing on the inside, that looked clean to me, I don't see a flag. It is Kendall Ellis who finished third in the 400 against Raven Rogers, the five-time NCAA 800-meter champion. Rogers makes the move, she downshifts and goes by the 400-meter specialist. It is Bedlam here at Hayward Field. Raven Rogers carrying the hopes of Oregon. And Kendall Ellis attempting to be the spoiler. It's Rogers. It's Ellis. And Oregon wins the Triple Crown. Johnson with no doubt a big sigh of relief by the way aside from the fact that there was a spectacular race both teams breaking the collegiate record held by Texas from back in 2004 and let's look at how they did it USC started off so strong right here as they make the exchange to Amelie Yule but you can see Deja Stevens is out for some redemption here on her leg here she comes in closes it up they pass basically neck and neck right there as the Ducks get it into the hands of Alexis Guster, the 400 meter specialist. Here she closes very strong all the way in to Raven Rogers, but USC isn't gonna make it easy on them. They get right there, Kendall Ellis puts herself in position, goes on the inside of Raven Rogers, a tough move to make, pushes Raven Rogers out to the outside of lane lane one. Raven Rogers makes her pay for, Raven Rogers makes her pay for that, and she comes into the final 200 meters, going into the turn, doesn't wanna run the extra distance, so she wastes no time, passes with authority, gets around Kendall Ellis very effectively right there, and then it is just the Hayward Field crowd on their feet, pulling her home. What a performance from Raven Rogers to come back after the 800 and throw down in the 4x4 four four to secure that title for Oregon. For Raven Rogers, she anchored in 49.77 and Kenda Ellis with 49.63. There's all kinds of records that were broken here and we will try to make sense of it when we come back. But Oregon, our NCAA outdoor champions, they turn the Triple Crown. What an incredible end to the spectacular championship meet. Oregon wins it with a collegiate record 323-13. USC's hearts broken with 323.35, both teams averaging under 51 seconds per leg. Back to wrap it up with all of us right after this. We have just gotten the confirmation that Oregon is the winner of that 4x400 relay. Here are the scores, the points they scored. They win over the Georgia Bulldogs by 1.8 points. The celebration is on and the award is about to be presented. Let's go down to Jill Montgomery. Well, let's try this again, Coach. Nicole Green, the chair of the NCAA, is going to present you your trophy. Coach Johnson, on, the half, on the behalf of the committee, congratulations to you and your team. Yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Triple <laughs> Coach, I have one question for you. You came into this meet shorthanded. 
You had some events where you weren't automatic qualifiers. I'm sure you were chewing your nails during that four by four. How did you pull this off? Hey, I got a great group of girls here that fought to the end and we're definitely excited. And the one question that I would ask, like, ask the uh, Hayward faithful here is how does it feel to be a part of history? In history it was with the Triple Crown, your 2017 NCAA champions, the Oregon Ducks! And that is it from Eugene, Oregon, the NCAA Outdoor For Jill Montgomery, Laura Overton, and Larry Rawson, I am Dwight Stones. Our pleasure to bring you the action over the last four days. The Oregon Ducks win the Triple Crown in the most dramatic of fashions.